in today's video, I'm going to be taking over Nottingham Forest for 10 seasons. Here we go again. And yes, in the Premier League. They finally secured promotion to the Premier League after winning the playoffs. What an achievement. And one of the historic clubs in England are back where they belong. No cap on that one. But in all honesty, with that team, I don't know how long can we keep them in the Premier League. Over these 10 seasons, let's try and make Nottingham Forest one of the best teams in England and win hopefully a ton of trophies. For a change, in this takeover, we'll stick with the five at the back formation. I just want to see if it helps us win more trophies but my god is this team bad defensively i can probably put cook in but honestly like it's it's terrible maybe a few youngsters are in here that are decent but i don't know how we're gonna survive the premier league with this kind of a team about 13 million to spend in this first season yikes uh, that, that isn't really much at all and remember the rule is still there we can only make two signings every season ah uh, we could be going right back down to the championship in this takeover. Anyways, one thing that could be really helpful for us is our homegrown player, Jacob Smart. Well, it would be a smart decision. That was a terrible pun. But anyways, we'll try and get him to the first team, convert him to a striker because he's 6'6". Like, honestly, he needs to be there. I think he might be a starter as soon as we convert him. In terms of signings, though, this is where things get interesting. Our budget isn't all that insane, so not really sure what to do. One thing I definitely want to do is this Jed Spence guy. He's 20. 73 rated. He could be one of the best wingbacks in the game. So, so let's take advantage of it. He's on loan. Let's sign him on a permanent deal. It's going to be expensive and it's going to count as one of the signings. This takeover is going to be very different, man. We're with Nottingham Forest. The objective is to just make them a regular Premier League club, something their fans have been wanting for so long. And that's what we'll try and do. It's not about breaking all records, okay? So, a bit of a different approach needed. All right, I'm going to go with uh, 6 million. Actually, let's try 5.2. Getting a deal on this deal would be amazing. They're willing to, to, to work with me if I give them Brennan Johnson. To be honest, guys, we aren't really playing with a formation with wingers. I think this works. Brennan Johnson, I could give him away, but I don't want to give more than 1 million because, yeah, I think this is smart. Let's see if this works. 1.65. Okay, let's go. I'm, I'm sorry, Brennan. You might be a good player, but right now we need, we need Spence. We're getting him. Crucial first team player role for Spence. We move. Five-year deal as well. you love to see it. Get that release clause out of here. We're not giving you one, I'm afraid. Wages, he certainly wants a fair bit of cash to work with, but this is what we'll offer. There you go. We've made our first signing. It's a player that was on loan, but he's now a permanent player at this club. Let's go. There's players like James Garner on loan as well. Do I complete that signing? Or, I don't know, man. I really don't know. Maybe we need something else for this team. Guys, Etienne Green is an Englishman playing for Saint Etienne. Like, how? Like, okay. Interesting. 20 years old. I think getting a solid keeper early on could be the play, so we're going to try and sign him, but I think he's going to be out of our budget. We might have to sell a few players here and there to make this happen. Let's see. To be honest, he's only worth about 7 million. We can make this happen. Maybe a swap deal with our existing keeper. Let's see. I, I would want to try and swap. Maybe Bryce Samba. I think we could we do that because he's going to be starter anyways. Maybe chuck in 5 million. This could be a smart signing. Etienne Green at Nottingham Forest. Makes sense. They don't even want him. Okay, so they want 11.2 million for Green. Wow. Wow. Um, let's counter with eight and a half. I want to get a deal on this. 8.5 million. They want 11.2. This is turning out to being super expensive, but I want that quality keeper who's going to grow rapidly in his overall. 9.5 isn't working as well. Uh, let's go with 10 million as our next offer. What are they going to say? You know what? Forget it. I'm just negotiating. 11.2. You can have it. Fair enough. There you go. We've just got our new goalkeeper, Etienne Green. Let's go. Guys, is our academy player ready to become like a striker? He is. If we now convert him to a strike. I'm expecting a big boost in his overall. And he goes up to a 71 rated player. Let's go. He is gonna be the player that saves us in this challenge. Jacob Smart. Remember the name. I'm straight away putting Jacob Smart into the starting 11. We've just promoted. We haven't promoted him. What? Meanwhile just gonna put Green in the starting 11. And there you go. Promote to the senior team. That is done. We've now got Jacob Smart available to use. Putting him in that starting 11 already. Well, we've made our two signings for this window. It's Etienne Green. And of course we signed Spence in a permanent deal. So sadly, couldn't really improve that first team all that much. Let's see how we fare in the first season. Hope 
hopefully we can just avoid relegation. Wow, that's probably the worst start I think I've ever had in a takeover video. We're dead last with a 40 negative goal difference. Well, we're going back down to the championship. Honestly, that might be a good thing because I don't think how there's any way we're competing in the Premier League until we set up our base and foundation. So it is what it is. Well, Jacob Smart's the only one that did anything for us in this first season. Scored 16 goals and top assisters. We've got Yates. I don't know what kind of stats we're going to be looking at at the end of this challenge, but so far, well, looks like the Youth Academy homegrown talent is going to end up as our top scorer at least. Anyways, back down to the championship. I have never been this confused in my life. Why have we gotten a 90 million transfer budget in the, in the championship? Like, please, like we needed this in the Premier League last season. I'm so confused. Anyways, with that money, it, it's time to improve this team even further. And you guys can already see problems like squad depth is modded. Apart from that, a lot of players have just gone back to their previous clubs because a lot of players were just on loan. So it's gonna be one hell of a takeover this. By the end of it, if we have even a com competitive team, that'll be a dub. Honestly, we're lacking a quality cam as well as even a left back. Let's get to it in this one. We've got the money, so I'm gonna make some hopefully world-class signings. Not gonna lie, Harvey Elliott, I think would be class. Perfect player for the championship. We'll definitely try and sign him. I'm thinking for the left back position, let's go big. Let's just go Mark Cucurella because I know he'll be amazing as like a left wing back. Just perfect. We're gonna sign an 81, 82 rated player in the championship. We should have done this last season, man. I don't know why the board has given us this kind of money for our second season. That too in the championship. But that's great. We're signing Cucurella for 53.2 million. Alright, there we go. Mark Cucurella, done deal. We're gonna be putting Mark Cucurella in the starting 11. There you go. It's crazy how we've got an 83 rated left wing back. He's gonna be the star of this team. And now we're on the hunt for Harvey Elliott, who might prove to be a bit of an expensive pickup, but he's 76 rated, and I know how good he can be. So we're gonna try and get him, putting in maybe 17 million as our transfer fee, and let's see what happens. There you go. Liverpool willing to play with me here. And that's our second signing done. Elliot and Cucurella. I think we've done well. We should be able to go right back up to the Premier League with signings like this. That's the team we're rocking, boys. Let's get to the end of the season. I think we're ready to go right back up to the Prem. And would you look at that? It only took us one season to go right back up to the Premier League. I feel like at this point, we're going to just keep yo-yoing between the Championship and the Premier League. But we couldn't win the Championship, so not a trophy counted. That's a bit sad. I thought this would be our chance to win a trophy. But 95 points, direct promotion to the Prem, we take that. The good thing is some of the players that we've signed, Spence, Green, Cucurella, Smart, Elliot, they're all looking ready for the Premier League. That's what's up. That's what's up. I think we're ready to survive in the Prem next season. Oh, Jacob Smart, you absolute animal. 28 goals for the season. Trust me, he's gonna end up as our top scorer. And look at Mark Cucurella popping up with 15 assists. What a legend. Smarts, I think, can end up as our top scorer if we can keep him for long enough. But so cool to see a left wing back be our top assist. We're back in the Prem now. We're back in the Premier League with, I think, a team that can finally survive in the Premier League. Like, we've got Smart, Elliot, Yates, Cucurella, all, and even Green. Five players above the overall of 80. I reckon we can certainly survive the Premier League this season. Can we improve our team? 63 million in the bank. I don't mind. That's good. That's very, very good. We need to decide where to use that though. To be honest, I think it's pretty obvious. Probably a midfielder and we could either go for a striker, maybe a midfielder. We'll have to decide but definitely a defender. A defender is absolutely vital. Mark Guehi, 80 rated, 23 years old. I think he's the centre back we need. 31 million is what I'm having to pay for this. That's a class signing guys. Guehi's going to be really good in that back line for us. Come on. Oh, he, he does look nice in the middle of that defence. Now, do we improve our midfield? Maybe the attack or Maybe just another signing for the centre-back position. Big decisions. Gonna try and sign Joe Willock for the midfield because I think it's an interesting signing. I think he'll be good in that midfield for us. So well, let's see if we can get a deal on him. Well, 31.7 million. Fine, that works for me. There you go. That's our second signing of the season done. Now we certainly have a squad to survive the Prem. Probably even finish top 10. All right, guys. Gwehi and, of course, Willock coming in. Let's see how we fare this season. This is our third season and no trophy. I think it's gonna take us maybe 
maybe five seasons to just build the platform to start winning trophies. Let me know a prediction. How many trophies do you guys think we can win in this? I think maybe five or six. That, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe more than that, hopefully. Um, not bad. 13th in the Premier League. At least we're not going down. Goal difference positive as well. The foundations are being set now. Three seasons in. I think we can call ourselves a secure Premier League club. And look at the overalls and some of their players. Smart is up to an 87. Elliot, 85. Look at Cucurella. Green and Guehi. We're balling. A few more signings in key areas. And we've got a team. Just checking if we just somehow won a cup or something. Nope, not the FA Cup. Uh, still no trophy. Not the Carabao Cup as well. Guys, Jacob Smart roots these streets. Another season of 22 goals. What a player. Jacob Smart, our homegrown talent, just keeps delivering, man. What a player. And also, Cucurella, still the top assister. Heading into the fourth season, our team is better than ever. We've got an 88 rated left back. We've got Elliot in cam. Smart's looking insane. The issue is, well, our budget's been reduced. I don't know why, but only 37 million this season. I don't know. Do I get a new striker? But in 37 million, am I going to get a quality striker? I don't think so. Maybe I just keep improving the back line for now. Well, the first signing we're going to have to make is our backup keeper, Ethan Horvath. He's left the club uh, on a free transfer and we're just going to try and sign him back. I need a backup keeper, guys. And Horvath is kind of perfect for that. So let's see if we can get him back on a good deal. Hopefully, we're going to have to spend 2.75 million just to get him back. That is so bad from my heart. I should have renewed his contract on time. Piero Hincapi. I've never used this guy in career mode before. We're going to spend all our money on a quality center back and I think he might be perfect. Can I maybe get away with a swap deal? Because we've got a fair few center backs at the club and I don't mind giving away Joe Worrell in this deal and maybe another 18 million. Um, Would Freiburg be willing to take part in this? Yes, they would. They're not going to give me much of a discount, are they? Let's try 21.3 million. They're still sticking to 29. Ah, oh, come on. Let's go down to 25. Come on, this is a good offer. There you go. And that's surprisingly our second signing of this window. Kind of wasted a signing on Horvat. To be fair, we didn't have the funds anyways to make another big signing. But now our back line is looking brilliant. There you go, Hinkapi's in the team. I'm feeling the vibes from this season. I think our squad's maybe good enough for a cup win. Who knows? Let's see. Fourth season. Is it time to get our first trophy? Okay, we finished 12th this season. Um, progress is progress, I guess. Um, but yeah, need, need to start upping uh, the stakes. But the thing is, until we get into the Champions League, we're not going to get a big increase in our budget. So we'll just be roaming around mid-table until something ridiculous happens. Well, look at the growth in some of our players, though. That's been fantastic. Smart is the man. He just keeps scoring goals for fun. What a player. And also, look at Cucurella, the assist king. And that's how the stats are looking are at the end of season four. It's season five. We haven't won a single trophy. Needs to change. I think this season could be the season we turn that around. About 57 million in the bank for this season. Brilliant. I think it's obvious. We need a striker. Maybe a center back too could help, but striker is, I think, what we absolutely need. That I've just found Luka Jovic. Who? Oh, Luka Jovic. I think that's a very smart shining because he's a good player who's good on the ball. Could complement our other striker smart really well. Luka Jovic playing at Roma. Contract expiring. This is perfect. This might be just what we need, guys. About 40 million to bring him in. If we can get a deal on this, like say 35 million or something like that, we're doing brilliant. 37.9 million, 100% working with this. And there you go. First signings, an 84 rated striker. Now we're talking. This was needed, guys, because we had no depth in the striker position. Let's put Jovic in the starting 11. Sarage on the bench. Brilliant. Let's see if we can do anything with the remaining money we've got. I think the only way we're getting a good centre-back is through free agents. Let's see if there's anyone available. Can't complain with this. Eric Bai available for free. I'm taking this man. He could possibly be a starter. He's the kind of players that give you the squad depth, and if we want to become a top four club in the Prem, we need this. We absolutely need a player like this. We'll offer him 60,000 per week. Is that a bit too low? It seems fine. There you go. Our second signing done. What kind of an overall buy is rocking? So he is 78 rated. Much needed squad depth, I think. But that's the squad we're going to have to run with for the rest of the season. Is it good enough? I don't know. We're lacking squad depth. But it's... It, let's just hope for the best. I reckon this season we have to finish at least in the top half of the table with the players we've got. I think this is the longest in any takeover it's taken us to, to get a European spot. Matt. Yo, I'm seeing some big wins out 
Schalke against Man United and Chelsea. Could we finally be tasting some Champions League action? Yes, indeed. It's taken us five seasons, but finally we're going to be in not the Conference League, in not the Europa League, straight into the Champions League. Come on now, that's what's up. Did we do well in any of the cups? No, I don't think so. So, how uh, we reached the final of the Carabao Cup. That was our shot at a trophy. We're yet to win a single trophy. Player growth has been class, to be honest. What's the stats looking like? Let's see that. Harvey, Elliot top scorer. To be honest, smart scored the same amount of goals. Assist clocking in really well from Elliot, from Willock as well, and even Yates. Cucurella just keeps up with the assist. Halfway through the challenge, and Jacob Smart is still the man for the goals. Finally, guys, we're getting the crazy budget to start with. This is where the Nottingham Forest challenge becomes about us trying to win some trophies. We've got a couple of signings to make and we need to make them count. All right, all right, all right. We need to now decide where do we need the improvements. I think a better midfielder could be absolutely vital. We need some squad depth there as well. Could certainly do with a better center back. So I guess that's what we'll work with in this window. And I want them to be world-class signings. I want to try and sign Matteo Guendouzi, but this might just burn all our money. You know what? Even if I can get one world-class player this window, I think that would be a dub. And Guendouzi, it has to be him. I think he'll add a tremendous amount of versatility to our midfield. And look at that. It's going to be an expensive signing. There's legit no two ways about this. 80 million is going to be my next offer. They want 93. Maybe we can save a little bit of cash, but I don't think it's going to be too much. 85 million. That's what Conte is willing to work with. Why is Guendouzi a former Arsenal player paying for Spurs, though? And there you go. First signing the window done. Matteo Guendouzi signs for Nottingham. Let's add him to the team and just see how things are looking. I think he'll probably get in instead of Yates. No, no two ways about it, but Willick's a bit younger. Yates can get onto the bench. Let's put him in here. Where, where's he gone? Yo, where's the new signing? Guendouzi, there he is. We still have about 43 million left, and I've got an idea. Fabio Carvalho is contracts expiring. A backup player on the bench of this quality can't say no to that, you know. Let's see if it'll be possible to sign him. 42 million is going to be my offer. And that's going to work. Brilliant. There you go. New signing. Let's go. Carvalho. Some much needed squad depth. He's going to be joining Liverpool, by the way, in real life. Let's put Carvalho on the bench. I think in a season where we're going to be in the Champions League, signings like this must. First season in the Champions League. I'm keen to see how we perform. Well, we're not going to be in the Champions League next season. That is disappointing in the Europa League. We're yet to win a trophy, man. When is that going to happen? Fifth in the Prem this season. Spurs have won a trophy. What? No FA Cup as well for us. Brentford win that. What about the Carabao Cup? Come on, give me that at least. Nope. First time ever in the Champions League and we got Real Madrid in our group. Brilliant. We did manage to get out of this. We got knocked out by Atletico Madrid. Yikes. Honestly, I look at my first team and I'm like, where? Where do we need improvements? This team is more than good enough to do well in the Champions League. It's 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 weird. Maybe it's that one centre-back McKenna letting us down. Another good season for Jacob Smart. 21 goals. Can't fault that at all. Harvey Elliott is slowly climbing up the assist ladder. New top assist Harvey Elliott with 41. Season 7 and I'm going to be blowing all our cash on a massive centre back. That's what we're doing this season. Can we pull off Delic at this club? It, it would be ridiculous. Might just be possible, you know. Should we give it a go? Should we give this a go? I would love Delic at this club. In a 5 back system Delic would be unreal. Let's try this out. 82 million first offer. They won 125. You know what? It is possible. I'm not going to lie, it is possible. 95 million, my counter. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll have to just, let, let's just see. What about 98 million? Second counter offer. What they're going to say? 104. You know what? That, that works for me. We're signing Delict in season seven. There you go. Delict's been signed. That's one hell of a transfer. I've just realized we still need another backup keeper. With this money, not making any first team signing. So might as well just go ahead and sign a backup keeper. But this time I'm going to make use of maybe a free agent keeper. I think I found a solid option. Valentin Caron. Could it be Hugo Lloris's regen? The demands are pretty reasonable as well. Like, honestly, we can work with this. 81 rated. Wow. That is certainly Hugo Lloris's regen. Now, that's what I call a signing for squad depth. Let's go. Well, that's our team for this season. We better start winning some silverware. At least getting back into the Champions.
Champions League. Oh my god, this is it. This is it. Our chance to win a trophy. It's arrived after seven seasons. And it's the Carabao Cup final. It's the worst of the lot, but I'll take it at this point. I swear if we bottle this. I swear if we bottle. Oh, I'll start crying. Please no, please no, please no. Let's win this. Come on. There you go. Come on. We've just won the Carabao Cup. I don't think I've ever been this happy about winning the mighty Carabao Cup. We're now at the end of the season and we're back in the Champions League. This time finishing third. Five points off the top. If we have good squad depth, I'm sure we can win the Premier League title, man. We're gonna have to keep pushing to build that squad depth. Regardless, third in the league this season. Ah, it's Arsenal who win the FA Cup. We're still on one trophy. You never know. Maybe the Europa League's our competition. We won all our games in the groups. Let's go. We knocked out Brentford. We knocked out PSG. Are you kidding me? We knocked out Torino and we're in the final against Hertha Berlin. It's taken us seven seasons, but we can wrap up this season with two trophies and I need to make this happen and let's go. That's exactly what happens. We've just won the Europa League, our second trophy. Oh boy. Smart still coming in with the goals. 36 to his name. Look at Harvey Elliott. He is killing it with the assists. Look at the stats, man. I don't think anyone's catching Smart for top scorer. It took us seven seasons to come up with some silverware on board, but finally, now in season eight, we've got the foundation. It's time to win as many trophies as possible. 150 million this season. I love the first team, so I'm not really looking to make too many changes here. It's just about squad depth. Probably a fullback is what I'm looking at. Maybe even a backup center back, because we've just got four. We need at least five for the formation we're running. I want a backup wing back. I don't see anyone better than Ryan Sussegna to be on the bench with that kind of quality. Perfect. And he shouldn't cost us that much. You know, 30 million should work a little bit more than that. Well, let's try and bring it down to, say, 33 million or something like that. That should work. Well, let's just pay the 38 point to win. Get this one done with. There you go. Ryan Sussegna, done deal. Let's go. Putting him on the bench, I think, really improves our squad depth. That bench is class. I'm now thinking if we can sign a more experienced centre-back, someone like Marquinhos. I know he'll be old right now, but I think he'd be a great pickup. I know he's 34, but he's 90 rated, guys. Contract expiring. Give me Marquinhos to keep him on the bench for a few seasons. Boy, that's that's what I call squad depth, you know. Let's sign him up for 34 million. Works me perfectly. Wow, maybe we might have to postpone the plan of signing Marquinhos because Willock's release clause has been paid by Juventus 126 million. I think we're going to let him go. We're going to let him go, not sign Marquinhos and bring in the best midfielder we can bring in. That, that, that's what we're going to do now. Unbelievable scenes. Wow, he's been sold. He's been sold. What kind of money we're looking at? We've got 220 million to sign whoever we want for that midfield position. Let's get to work. Frankie de Jong would just be insane. I know he's 31, but he's 92 rated. Yo, I think we, we do this. Or Ofede Valverde. You know what? He was unreal for Real Madrid in, of course, the, the, the Champions League in that final. I mean, first off, he was terrible. But then he bounced back with a fabulous assist. I think we'll sign him instead. Let's do this. Let's bring in Fede Valverde into our team. 100 million straight up. They won 145. You know what? We got the cash. We'll make it happen. Did not expect to be signing Fede Valverde to Nottingham Forest, but that's exactly what we've done. Yates goes on to the bench. Fede Valverde goes into the team. Absolutely mental. Let's swim through this season back in the Champions League. Let's see what happens. Chance to win another trophy. And good thing we signed Valverde from them to weaken them. It's the UEFA Super Cup final. Can we win our third trophy? Oh, we can't. It's Real Madrid, man. Fair play. Oh, we finished second in the Premier League. When are we going to win the title, man? I want to win at least once in these 10 seasons. But time is running out. No FA Cup as well for us this season. No Carabao Cup. What about the Champions? Champions League. Now we topped our group, which is great. What happened in the round of 16? We knocked out Barca. We knocked out Man City on pens. We knocked out Inter win the Champions League final. Fun fact, Nottingham Forest have won the European Cup twice in their history before. This would then be their third. We're up against Dortmund with Haaland and Pedri in their team. How have they built this squad? Well, let's do this. Champions League final against Dortmund. Can we win this? Yes, we can. Trophy number three, and it's the big one. The Champions League. Let's go. Look, it's Smart coming in with 44 goals this season. What an animal, honestly. We got so lucky with our homegrown player like Jacob Smart's insane. 214 goals now. Just look at how good this team is. Like, honestly, it's it's insane how good we've built this side. We've got two seasons left. All I want is maybe a Premier League title or two. We've got the team to do it. You know what? Just because we can, I want to sign Kylian Mbappe. Because why not? Why not? Let's bring Kylian Mbappe to Nottingham Forest. 30-year-old Mbappe. 
Poppy. You might be thinking, is this, has this guy lost his mind? But I want to do it. We might not be able to do it, though, because Mbappe is super expensive. But I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Countering and seeing what will Pochettino and PSG agree to. 241, they're willing to go down. What about 226? I'm trying my best because we need to have money for his wages. And that works. We're spending all our cash this season on Mr. Mbappe. Bro, if we sign Mbappe and we don't win the Champions League again and then again, th th that's an L. There you go, Mbappe offer accepted, signed. Kylian Mbappe is now playing for Nottingham Forest, only in FIFA. Yo, this, this first 11, we've got a 95 and a 96 rated striker playing together. What even? Well, let's get through this season. We've got another Super Cup to try and win. We win this, it'll be four trophies, I think. We lost on pens, what? Well, we signed Mbappe and we go backwards, only fourth in the Premier League, what? We lost the FA Cup final. We didn't even make the Carabao Cup final and we got kicked out on pens in the Champions League. This is a disaster. Yeah, that's pretty true. Yo, what happened this season? Mbappe was not bad. 22 goals. Smart coming in with again 28. But how do we do this bout? We've got one more season. I need to do everything possible to win the Premier League. Don't think the stats are going to be changing too much even in the final season. These two have got it nailed down. This is it. The final season with Nottingham Forest. We need to try and win the Premier League. For that, guys, we need squad depth. That's, that's kind of what we're lacking. What can we do this season? Wait, why do we have only three centre-backs? Well, it's clear we need to bring in a centre-back. I was trying to sign Marquinhos before, but I think now he would have retired. Or maybe he's just too old. He's still 88 rated. You know what? We'll sign him off because that's so cheap. We can get him for like such a good price. The squad depth will be invaluable. Let's get him, guys, for like 24 million. Can't believe I'm signing Marquinhos for that fee. Thinking might also want to try and sign his Brazilian brother, Ed Militao. Don't mind if I do signings like this. I'm just going to keep him on the bench. Marquinhos in the reserves and that's that's going to help us win the Prem, I feel. Signing two centre-backs in the same window. Two Brazilians. Two insane players. That's what we're doing this window. And there we go. Militao signed. Marquinhos signed. We're looking good. So much needed squad depth has been provided. I think we're ready for the final season. Let's win that Prem. Final season with Nottingham Forest. Did we end up winning the Premier League? Man United in 12th. Liverpool in 7th. Southampton in the top four. Man City as well. <sighs> and we finish second. Arsenal beat us to it. Oh. Huh? No FA Cup. What about the Carabao Cup? We don't win that either. It's all about the Champions League. We topped our group with Barcelona. We get through Leipzig, Atletico, and even City. And this is it. A chance to win a Champions League. This would be our second, by the way, if we win this. Oh my god. Trophy number four, I think, because that's all we've managed to achieve. Can we do it, though? Can we make it trophy number four, please? Oh my god. That is so sad. Ah, to be honest, at least we won one Champions League and one Euro our league in this one. But we could have won so much more. Well, with Nottingham Forest, it wasn't easy. But we built a super team. And it's a shame we couldn't win more than, uh, you know, the trophies we won. Smart again, top scorer, outshining Mbappe. Elliot's probably going to finish top assist. And there you go, the final stats. 277 goals for Smart and 90 assists for Elliot. Honestly, this was such a fun takeover. Different vibe from trying to win as many trophies as possible. We made Nottingham Forest the regular staple in the Prem. We just couldn't win that Premier League title with them that was rough anyways catch on in the next one if you enjoyed this drop like subscribe catch on for the next one peace